heard him go over. Sometimes I'm asleep, sometimes not, and I heard him go over that morning. The morning that, uh, the morning that it happened, Got Lexington off your left side in five miles. When the phone rang, I thought, that's odd. Summer heard me. She came in there, and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, your dad went down this morning. And uh, I said, but he's OK. 242 Mike Bravo, turn left, hitting us. I'm not calling it a crash. I call it an incident. And that's what the FAA called it. Because there was so little damage done to the airplane, they called it an incident. My name is Greg Huntley. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I work in the construction business. 18 years ago, he decided he was going to get his license. I fly five days a week for work. I wasn't crazy about it. Never have been, but um, it does save a lot of time. He gets home much earlier. On that day, it was on October the 22nd of 2014. Everything was normal. I went to the, my hangar, and as I rotated, I just remember thinking, man, it is black. And about 10 or 15 minutes in, I reached up, cut the light on, looked at some paperwork. Everything's just normal. Around 6, 17 in the morning, I heard a sound, and the prop stopped. Right before I keyed up and declared an emergency, I just thought I had five minutes to live. Because I knew it'd take me about five minutes from 5,000 feet. I thought, you need to get a hold of yourself. And I made a mental decision that at 3,000 feet, if I didn't like what I saw, I was pulling the chute. At 3,000 feet, I was still seeing black out of the windshield, so I informed the controller that I was going to pull the chute. The thought came to mind, I've taken so many kids and their parents on their first airplane ride and non-pilots, and I briefed them on if something were to happen to me. I want you to reach up and pull down on the handle. And then I tell them that you're going to float down under the canopy and you'll be fine. As I reached out that morning and I put my hands on that handle, I just thought for some reason it came over me. You told them that you would float down. You're fixing to find out. Pulling that chute was hard for him. I know it was. It was a very loud explosion. I am so thankful. You go pretty extreme nose down. That he pulled the chute. I don't think it was more than a minute till I hit the ground. I think every airplane should have it. And I could not believe. I said, well, what have I hit? And it was very emotional when he got home. And I looked at you on the ground. And you're in a grass field. Well, he grabbed me and we just held on for a long time and cried a little bit. Obviously, after that, my phone was just exploding with text phone calls and, and it'll be very emotional because we're all very very close there's a lot of people that really care about you the parachute does work i'm living proof it kept my family together it only reinforces your belief in the airplane i would get in it more now than i would before the accident any other airplane in the dark from 5,000 feet i had zero chance of survival I know I made the right decision. I'm alive today because of serious aircraft, and I'm happy with the decision I made.